A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country. The emphasis is that those whom he first predestinated, he has first called them. And as he has called them, he has justified them. And as he has justified them, he has glorified them. It does not mean that others will not come, but he will first of all consider you very many educated and highly placed Africans come into brotherhood first of all in London or America. If you call them at home, they would say, Ah, who is your leader? Is he educated? How many degrees has he? I have had up to four degrees. When they go to Britain or America, that is where they would embrace brotherhood. Have I not told you that work has not yet started in earnest? When it shall start, you will travel to all parts of the world. You will travel to all nooks and corners and will reach even the utmost parts of the earth. You will go to India, Asia, China, Czechoslovakia, and everywhere. Have you realized that the power of God, do you realize that the power God has given to Adam to superintend over all his creation? to name them and take control over everything. That glory which was lost has now been regained. That paradise lost has now been restored to him. Man was destined to rule. He did not say that animals, birds, fishes, trees, sticks or any other thing should superintend and take dominion over the creations of God. He had appointed Adam to superintend, to control, and have dominion over all things that he has created. God has never used the animals, birds, fishes, trees, or any other thing to reveal his glory. He used his man to reveal his own glory. That is why God said, let us create man in our image and likeness. It is this man that he uses to reveal his glory. This is not something that somebody should ask you to gird your loins. You should get yourself fully prepared because you have never seen such thing. You, you have never seen such a thing in Africa or Nigeria where people gather and donate handsomely. Have you not seen how God has worked mysteriously? Do you not see how things are working smoothly here? Ethiopia shall rise again. A black man does not go to church because he wants to listen to the words of God. He goes there because he is hungry. The white man would bring money to feed him. And out of this, he would not contribute one cobo. And so, the upliftment of the work of God in that particular church will not grow. Now, you will hear them ask you, whether the headquarters of that church is in Britain or, or America. This is because the church denomination of which they are members come from either America or Britain. The white missionaries used to give them money. And so when you say that brotherhood is from Calabar in Africa, they feel that there is no rich man there. Who can give them a cobo? Brethren, 
Do you not see what has happened? This is the fullness of time. God can even use the rocks to fulfill his own promise. He is sending you out. This would not have happened in the past, but right now, being the fullness of time, he has commissioned you and you will be able to enter into all facets of society to give people the words of life and the words of comfort. If these were to hold their peace, the stones would cry out. You will see what is going to happen. Every person is thinking about evangelism. You want to enter into all parts of the world and into all facets of the society and to the utmost parts of the earth to preach the word of God. This has been the preoccupation of every person now. During our Lord Jesus Christ, triumphant entry into Jerusalem, the people were shouting, Hosanna to God in the highest. The people asked our Lord Jesus Christ to tell people to keep quiet. But he told them, if these people should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. So brethren, you have to be watchful because no person is responsible for what is happening. It is the fullness of time. The vision of the nuns concealed by the Pope. Anything done by the finger of God will be fulfilled at this end of time and it must be consummated. First, have you known that you are one of those for whom God had kept this kingdom? In the second place, have you known that you have been elected by God? Thirdly, have you known that you have been justified and you have no case to answer? In the fourth place, have you known that God has bestowed his glory on you? You have been given the commission to rule over the creations of God. If it was something to purchase with money, you would have boasted. But now everything is in the hands of the Father. He is the only person who knows. Even if you are told, you would not understand. Most of those who are members of Roman Catholic Church have been converted here now. Have you not heard about the vision of the three nuns and what happened at this end of time? This vision has been given to them. It was written and given to the Pope in a sealed envelope. After seeing what it contained, it, he sealed the envelope and refused to disclose the contents so that people might not know that an African was going to rule. People have been pestering the life of Vatican officials to release the vision of the three nuns, but no person wants to release it. If you were the Pope, would you have released it? After reading that the person who will rule the world would be a black man, an African, would you have released it? That means he will rule, including every person. It is a taboo to read the Bible in some church denominations. Have you seen the behavior of the whites? But the Bible says, there is nothing hidden that would not be revealed and there is nothing hidden inside the house that would not be brought on top of the roof. 
what they had tried to conceal has it not been disclosed now those of you who are members of certain church denominations knew that in the past you dared not open the bible otherwise you were committing a grievous sin no person from the catholic church reads the bible what was read was the extracts from the bible and the small missile but recently they said that they would not continue to conceal this they have started to read the bible and since they have seen that their doctrine does not comply with the teachings of the bible some of them have withdrawn and others have revolted so brethren no person can conceal what is kept by god when the fullness of time comes it would be laid bare before the public and every person would know its manifestation do not glorify yourself rather give glory to god because all what he has spoken has become manifest the golden text will now be read you will see what was what was written about and you also will see the fulfillment golden text first peter chapter 2 verse 9 but ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into this marvelous light africans are chosen people brethren have you heard what is read to you he says that you are a chosen people you have been chosen by him you are a royal priesthood a holy nation which you have heard about a peculiar people who have been called out of darkness then you should go forth and show the marvelous light that is why you are referred to as wonderful people it is impossible that you can determine what you can do you are not living unto yourself again as you are sitting down here you are thinking about so many things how to project the image of god throughout the whole world until you get to russia or the netherlands you would not know others will travel by plane others by motor car some by ship or submarine you will reach all parts of the world declaring the words of god and when you are elected into this kingdom you have no other work to perform apart from showing this marvelous work to people converting your offices into better everywhere you go you have no other duty to perform apart from preaching the words of god brotherhood is a royal priesthood this is why they complain that brotherhood members leave their offices and go and miss work this is the fullness of time and so these things must come to pass your whole minds have been filled with the thoughts of god you have no other things to preoccupy your mind you have you have to think about him and you have to go about working for him a brotherhood member was appointed a pilot and when he entered into the plane he turned the plane into a battle if he is appointed captain of a ship he will convert the ship into a battle it is not his own making it is the handwork of the father if you appoint a brotherhood member on the staff of any school 
he would convert this school into a battle. Whether he's a police, he would convert the police barracks into brotherhood battle and would preach brotherhood in the whole establishment. No man is responsible for all these. It is because you have been glorified and commissioned to go and preach. And where people were in darkness, you bring them out into the light. Africa is a holy nation. You are chosen, you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation, a peculiar people, wonderful sets of people. That is why whenever you go close to people, they try to keep you at arm's length. As you are sitting down here, some people are going inside the forest, some to towns, cities, villages and hamlets preaching to people. You cannot sit down at your place of work in your market stall. You cannot stay with your husband or wife in the house. People continue to complain that I am responsible for all those things. I have not done it. Have you ever seen me sitting down in one place? It is the hand work of God. Do not say that you are tired and that you are going to rest, but continue to preach day in and day out throughout the year. Do you consider that this work is done by man? Have you ever seen a married woman, a mistress, abandoning her matrimonial home and her husband and going and ministry work to America or Europe? Do you think that she has done it out of her own volition? No person is responsible for it. It is the handwork of the Father. Have you ever found a government official leaving his place of work, sometimes without permission, taking his holy Bible and ministry work and preaching the words of God and not fearing that he would be disciplined? Are you not surprised that you can leave your office for one month for ministry work and on your return no person queries you nor disciplines you but at the end of the month you are paid your correct salary without any complaint against you where the spirit of god is there is liberty are you not surprised that even if you are in the governor's office, you stand up to preach and people would get around, gather around you to hear the words of God and no person would raise an eyebrow. Rather, they would open their mouth and listen to the words of God. Do you think it is the handwork of man? It is the handwork of God that at the fullness of time such a thing would happen. It is because you have been called and assigned to go and do this work. That is why he has called you. He has justified you and glorified you. He has called you a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. That is why he wants you to go out and proclaim his wonderful works. Where there is darkness, you bring about a marvelous light. Show the light and people will follow. If you go to a place where it is said that people should not say anything about brotherhood, you would be prepared to back away 
from that from such a place. So, brethren, that is what is before you. That is the job you have to perform. You have to go out and show people this light. Go and sing his praises. Go and magnify his name that you have been brought from darkness into marvelous light. Brethren, a stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. Those who have ears, let them hear. May the Lord bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father.